All right, welcome back to another Mr. Y ukulele tutorial video. Today we're gonna to be looking at a new chord, our G chord. This is gonna be the fourth chord we've looked at. We've looked at C, A minor, and F. And today we're gonna to look at our fourth G. Now, as a reminder of all my videos, my ukulele head is in this corner. Make sure yours is over here on this side. We would wanna make sure we're looking in the same direct, we're, we're looking in different directions, so we wanna make sure our ukuleles are pointing in different directions. Um, so G, it's our new chord. So far, it's the most different chord compared to all the rest. C and A minor both had one finger. A minor and F shared one finger in the same spot. So we only had to move one. For G, we have to take all our fingers away and forget about everything we've done, forget about everything we've done. But for this G chord, we're gonna add some new stuff. So G has three fingers and we're gonna use these three fingers, our index, middle, and ring finger. Now, let's take a look at the fretboard. Now, for the G chord, we are going to use the 1, 2, second building and the 1, 2, 3, third building for our fingers. On the second building, we're going to have our index and our middle finger be on the first and third floor. We're going to skip that string. On the third building, we're going to have our fingers be on the, our ring finger be on the second floor of the third building. But we're not going to do it just like that. We're going to do it one finger at a time. So everybody, please find your middle finger and put it on the first floor of the second building and just play that string for me. That's the sound you want. We're only doing one string. Ta, 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 ta. Good. If you got that string, we can move on. If you didn't, check to make sure you're pushing down hard enough or that you're not putting any extra fingers on there because that might be messing you up. Now, we're not going to jump uh, to this string yet. We're going to move to our ring finger. So leaving your middle finger on that first floor, second building, we're going to move our ring finger to the second floor of the third building, and it's going to look like that and just go ahead and play me that note. It's going to sound like this. Good. Now let's go ahead and let's play these bottom two strings, the second and the first floor by themselves. It's already sounded really pretty. That's most of the G chord and it's not super hard. We got our third finger, a ring finger, third building, second floor, and we got our middle finger on the first, first floor, second building. And as always, remember, strings are floors, one, two, three, four, and buildings are frets, one, two, three, four. Now for our last finger, our index finger, we're going to put kind of angle our wrist this way, because we're going to have to we do this, we might kind of hurt ourselves, we want to be hooking still. We're going to angle our wrist outwards towards the neck and we're going to put it on the third floor of the second building. Now this might be the hardest thing for us so we're going to remember take it slow take it one string at a time. It's not a race. Nobody's going to get to G before you. Nobody's going to get to G after you. We all want to get there together. Once we get that finger we think we have it in the right place let's go ahead and let's play the uh, one string at a time starting on the third floor Second floor, first floor, third, second, first floor. If you get all those strings, go ahead and add all the strings, strum it. Now our biggest concern with G happens to be our ring finger. We wanna make sure that we're not touching the string right below it. If we are, we're gonna get this string down here, our first four string, is gonna be muffled, and we don't want that sound. So make sure you're hooking all your fingers, you're hooking your wrist, and that you sound like this. Be my echo. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, ta, di, ta, ta. Ta, di, ta. 
tardy, tardy, ta, ta. I hope you got everything. If you don't think you quite have it, check to make sure you're pressing your strings hard enough. Check to make sure you're not accidentally touching strings you shouldn't be. And you can always go back in the video and build the chord with me one finger at a time again. That's what this video is here for, for you get extra practice. Don't be afraid to slow down the video. I believe in this corner, maybe in that one, but I think it's in this corner. There's a little gear button that you can use and you can change how fast the video plays on YouTube. And you can always slow me down um, if you need me to be slowed down. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep practicing. Remember, the more you practice, the more we can play and the more songs that we can sing. Um, keep playing. Keep watching the videos. And as always, be your musical best.